Hello everyone, in this video let us talk about uh, listener where we will create a new listener to synchronize your versions in uh, two different projects. In Scriptrunner for Jira, we have this concept of uh, listener and I made uh, one video recently where I talked about uh, uh, what listeners are and uh, how you can use them. I also explained the concept of listener with one uh, example. I want to continue showing you how listeners work and uh, in this video I want to basically create a new listener that will uh, synchronize uh, versions that you have in your uh, Jira project. So let us say uh, you want to basically have the version information, the name, maybe uh, synced across to a different project and uh, there are different use cases maybe you are working uh, on um, a release that will impact uh, multiple uh, projects and for some reason you want to make sure that the version name or maybe some other inf information like dates are also uh, same and uh, copied over to maybe a different project. You can always do this manually and uh, there are some add-ons that can also do this for you to synchronize the versions. There is also this uh, possibility of uh, cross-project uh, releases in case uh, you are uh, using Portfolio for Jira. But in this video, I want to show you how we can do it very easily using uh, Script Runner. So when you go to your Script Runner listener section, you can take a look at some ready-made listeners that you can uh, use. Uh, and uh, we have this listener called version synchronizer. So if you click on it, you will be presented with the option to select your source project and your target project. So maybe I want all the versions from my Android development uh, project to be synced to maybe a new different to, to maybe to maybe my hardware support or maybe multiple projects so you can select one or multiple projects here and as a good practice i'll probably uh, add uh, a note here so that i know what this uh, uh, this listener is uh, doing i'll also add my project name so that uh, i know uh, in which project this uh, listener is applicable so i'll, I'll quickly add this uh, listener and i can also do a preview just to make sure that uh, uh, it works so right now it says that uh, no preview available but validation was successful let us quickly add this listener and uh, uh, let us check what all we can do with this uh, listener for version synchronizer so right now you can see here that we have this new version synchronizer listener added and uh, you can take a look at some events that will uh, so basically these are the events for which this listener will uh, be applicable. So right now I'm just creating a listener that will copy the version information from my Android project to my hardware support project. So if you want to do maybe the opposite, you can maybe create one more listener. So let us take a look at uh, this uh, listener. And uh, for that, I will probably go to my Android uh, development project. So in this particular project, I have uh, three versions. I'll probably uh, show you everything. So right now we have uh, one, two, three, four versions. And uh, if I go back to my hardware support project, I just have one version. So let us create uh, a new version. I'll prob probably name it as uh, maybe version 3.5. Let us say we are uh, launching or uh, maybe we, want, we basically want to uh, release something significant in different projects. So we can name it as the version 3.5 and in bracket I can also say CPR. So it's a cross project release. Uh, you can have some uh, start date. Maybe start date is uh, Monday or Tuesday next week. I can also have some release. Uh, uh, I mean, I can basically add a release date as well. So maybe I want to re release it on uh, 30th of April and I can add some description. So this is my CPR, my cross project release. And the moment I click on the add button, there will be an event that will uh, be uh, uh, basically 
captured by that listener because if i am not wrong there is a there is an event called uh, version create event so this is basically your non issue event uh, it is basically um, happening when you do something outside your issues maybe you are doing some configuration changes so so you you do have a lot of events and the good thing is that the script owner is, is able to pick it up and listen to it so let us click on the add button so we now have this new version 3.5 cpr which is unreleased added in our uh, android project so let us take a look at our uh, hardware support project and uh, let us see if we have this new version or not so the good thing is i had to uh, I'm sure you were expecting it but I think it is always good to see things working yourself so we have this uh, new version copied over from my Android development project to my hardware support project with information copied over like start dates and uh, release dates along with the description and the good thing is that this particular version is only applicable for this project you, uh, you can definitely have different set of uh, issues for uh, individual projects but uh, the version name and dates can be same so this is a very good uh, example of uh, using script runner for jira and i'm sure if you are following uh, my script runner video tutorial series i'm sure by now you have already realized that uh, by just installing script runner for jira you are opening up this huge possibility of a uh, uh, lot of customizations that you can do uh quite easily of course you, you, there is a learning curve in the beginning and the good thing is that uh, script runner comes with a uh, lot of examples built in scripts uh, and even if you are working on something like listeners or maybe script fields you have some guidance and uh, and you may be able to save a lot of money if you are using script runner for jira because uh, these small bits and pieces that uh, you can do in jira using script runner for jira uh, otherwise you need to probably buy an add-on so there is an add-on that will uh, do the same thing for you uh, you can purchase that add-on you can install it on your instance but you can do the same thing with script runner so script runner as an add-on as an as an app uh, uh, it is quite flexible it will give you wide range of options and uh, the the possibilities are endless so let us continue our uh, script runner for jira learning journey and uh, i hope this uh, video was useful thank you very much